welcome and hello! I'm your friendly neighborhood android, Ray, and I am so excited to finally share the fun I have with those games with you guys. Genshin, Genshin Story and characters and many other games are really captivating me for a while now and I just thought it would be really fun to share that with you. So today I want us to check out Thomas' Hangout event because uh, <laughs> well as many other people I totally fell in love with him. I think I fell in, fall in love with those fictional characters way too easy but honestly who can blame me? Without further ado let's just get started but before we do please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it's free for you and it would really make my day but now let's go meet toma shall we haven't seen toma in a while who knows what that guy's working on these days <laughs> probably something of the utmost importance as ever taking guests out for lavish meals cleaning up around the house the usual the usual, he says. We have people like that to thank for the decline of the samurai spirit in this day and age. If you're just gonna schmooze your way through every problem in life, you might as well put your blade on the scrap heap. It's like everything. Use it or lose it. Um, but he's, he's not schmoozing his way through every problem in life. He's smart, isn't he? Also, I heard he's Mondstadt, born and bred. Just saying. What? What does that even mean? <laughs> Just saying. Kazumasa, I... I am watching you. Oh. Well, no wonder. What do you think Miss Kamisato even sees in that guy? Whoa! No, 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 no. I, I won't let them be. Time to put a stop to this. <sighs> Sorry. I haven't slept too well the last couple of days. On account of all this rain we've been having. Oh. Wait, what are you all doing here? Has something happened? <laughs> we were just having a little chat on our break. It's time we were going. There's still lots to do. We're busy people, Toma. You do well to grow a sense of urgency, too. <laughs> wow. What's wrong with you? Did you did you sleep unwell or uh you got up on the wrong foot <laughs> well uh thank you gentlemen i'll think about that when my vacation's over <laughs> sorry i'm a little late something came up you heard everything didn't you yep <laughs> i sure did <laughs> no big deal though people like to criticize those who don't fit in it's the same everywhere that's true if a little private gossiping helps them let off some steam, well, good for them. It does no harm to the Kamisato clan. Oh, but what about you? Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it doesn't harm the Kamisato clan, but, but what about you, Toma? I agree. Let them do and you do... Let them do them and you do you. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's right. But you don't have to slander other people to let off some steam, so... Sorry, I can't say agree. Oh? It makes me uncomfortable. We should tell them how much you do for the commission. I mean, that was not what I intended to, <laughs> to do, but um, we should tell them how much you do for the commission. Honestly, they, they shouldn't be so high and mighty. <laughs> I'm touched that that's how you see the situation. Oh, <laughs> of hearts. <laughs> I don't think we need to go down that route, though. In any case, as a housekeeper, it's hardly my place to get all high and mighty with other staff in the Yashiro Commission. But I am not a housekeeper, so... I could do the talking. <laughs> but you're my guest and I live to serve. Oh. So if you have any other thoughts on the matter, please do share them with me. I honestly just want him to be happy. <laughs> I'm willing to give anything you suggest a shot, as long as it's a serious suggestion, of course. I'll ask around at the Yashiro Commission. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you right here. Just come and find me if you need anything. All right. Will do. Find his back. Um, <clears throat> that's not awkward. 
there's probably a mirror somewhere. <laughs> okay, ask the Yashiro Commission member questions. Is it does it matter who I ask? Furuta. I guess. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I have to talk to her. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Granny. Bye. Take care now. Um. I mean, maybe I, I could have or should have talked. I don't know. For now, I'll just talk. You're asking me what I think Toma could do better? Hmm. He's busy enough as it is, don't you think? I barely see him around here at the commission. And when I do, more often than not, he's busy with the housework. <laughs> I think he should carry on doing what he's doing. Everyone's got their own way of living, and Toma's no different. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Um, can I ask you guys as well? I cannot. Okay. What about you? No. You it? Maybe. Oh, oh, this is going to be a problem. What's the matter? Oh, you're Miss Kamisato's friend, aren't you? We are friends, yes. <laughs> uh, basically, something downright awful's happened, and we're discussing what on earth we should do about it. What happened? In preparation for the festival next month, we procured some very precious ceremonial implements from another island. Mm -hmm. But as luck would have it, our ship got hit by strong winds out at sea. The entire shipment is now sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Uh oh, do you have a backup plan? Well, certainly there's no time to go all the way back out there and buy another batch. Our only option is a gentleman based on Narukami Island by the name of Yusaku. But he's a shrewd one. He caught on to the fact that we needed the goods urgently and raised prices sky high. Mm. Clearly he wants to take us for every mora we're worth. <sighs> it's a real dilemma. I mean, that would probably be... Too much real life. <laughs> Can't you barter him down? We've tried, but he just won't budge. It doesn't help that he has something of a feud with the Yashiro Commission. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't help. He once sold us some ceremonial implements of exceptionally poor quality. We returned the items and exposed his malpractice in the process. But isn't that his fault? He's resented us ever since. Now that he actually has the chance to get back at us, Oh, there's no way he'll back down. Mm. The Yashiro Commission doesn't have any direct authority over merchants. We could file a formal complaint, but the process is long and drawn out. And the festival is drawing nearer every day. Honestly, this seems like a job for Toma. <laughs> Kazumasa and Furusawa have marched off to see him. But I don't know whether they'll be able to resolve it. Oh, I, I don't think they are good at talking. <laughs> I really hope the festival goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. All right, tell Toma. I'm sure there was nothing about a scam in this one. Oh, that whole situation, huh? Oh, you knew about it. I heard a thing or two about it. I was planning on finding some time to sort it out after entertaining you. So you know a solution? Uh, it's hard to say for sure. I need to talk with the guy first. Mm. Since this has piqued your interest, how about we head over there together? Sure. Still, the original plan here was to focus on your enjoyment, <laughs> not rope you into the trials and tribulations of the Yashiro Commission. I want people to give you the respect you deserve. Trials and tribulations with Toma are bound to be fun. <laughs> oh, you think so? Mm. Well, in that case, I guess I'd better look alive. <laughs> well, if that is what you really want, I'd better give this my best shot. Oh, Toma. How can he be like that? It's it's adorable. And I kind of just want to look out for him. I think because the other two who are talking behind his back were there, are there with the man right now. I think Toma is going to impress them. <laughs> Even though Toma doesn't care, but it's still nice, I think, if he gets the recognition he deserves. He's working really hard after all. Ah, let's go! Your asking price just isn't realistic! Hey, what point are you trying to make here, huh? If the festival gets delayed, don't say we didn't warn you. 
<clears throat> Help! I'm being attacked by Yashiro Samurai! Wow. <laughs> what? Hey, cut that out! You little... <clears throat> Take it easy, would you? Look, we're not going to harm you, all right? The Yashiro Commission is forcing me to sell against my will! Doshin! I need a Doshin! I mean, he's not stupid. <laughs> but a little annoying, wow. I mean... This is definitely a job for Tomo. <laughs> Looks like there's no negotiation to be had here. Come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> Wait up. <laughs> is that all they got? Amateurs. A nerve. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, you were... He knows who we are? Or he knows Toma? Hello again. Oh. Wait, I know you. Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commission's errand boy, Toma. <laughs> His voice actor is doing a great job, honestly. Do you know how long the Tenryo Commission locked me up for? No offense to you. Going on about my goods being cheap fakes. You almost make it sound like I planted something and framed you. Those goods were defective. You know that, right? Ugh, you're so pedantic. <laughs> Think how many festivals there are in a given year. Now, take candles, for example. Do you have any idea how many they go through? I could switch half of them out for duds without a single person noticing and make a small fortune in the process. But, but that's not the point. <laughs> I was happily providing you with some much needed supplies. Not only were you ungrateful, you had the audacity to report me. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> well, now the tables have finally turned and you're begging for my help. Can you really blame me for charging a little extra? I don't think we're going to beg, but um, this is more than a little extra. This price is bankruptcy even for the Yashiro Commission. No, this is more than a little extra, I think. I mean, that's what we're going to assume right now. Look, I mm. found out what happened. The Commission's shipment ran into a storm and is now lying at the bottom of the ocean. Yes. The festival's right around the corner, so postponing it isn't an option. Right now, I'm the only one selling what you need. If the festival goes pear-shaped and Gujiai or the almighty Shogun hears about it, they are not going to be happy. And then <laughs> you'll have a real problem on your hands. <laughs> Sorry, who is this voice actor? Is he, is he speaking someone else in the game? He sounds really good. <laughs> not going to be happy. <laughs> so you might want to consider your position here. Oh, come on, boss. This is all a little heartless. Besides, aside from the Yashiro Commission, no one else buys ceremonial items. Surely resolving this dispute swiftly is in your interest, too. <laughs> Don't give me that. The fact is, you're desperate to buy, and I ain't desperate to sell. Hmm. The batch I have here can go to waste for all I care. It'd be no great loss. Ah. <sighs> Looks like we can't come to an agreement, then. Well, I'm glad it's dawning on you. You can either pay up, or look like a bunch of idiots when the festival comes around. Your choice. I mean... <sighs> Time's can precious, we fight? and I've given you a fair find slice something else? of mine today. <laughs> when you're ready to pay, I'll be ready to talk. He's really fancy. I mean, the way he speaks. <sighs> He already left. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that he doesn't intend to discuss this any further. Do you have any plan? I guess his time in the police station didn't make for happy memories. <laughs> Do you want me to mention this to Gujiai? Do you want me to mention this to Raiden Shogun? I think Yai is a little bit more useful, I think. <laughs> uh, no need. Really? I can't say I think much of the way Yusaku was acting, but ultimately, the issue here lies with the Yashiro Commission. We were the ones who lost the goods, so the responsibility is on us to find a solution. Otherwise, even if we write this out, the Yashiro Commission's reputation will take a huge hit. Hmm, that is true. Really realistic. Uh, let's go. 
There are a few people I want to introduce you to. Oh? Go with Toma to meet a friend. Oh, that's that's just right around the corner. Who are you? Hello, Yasutake. <clears throat> I hope I'm not uh, butchering these names. <laughs> I must say, I'm surprised to see you. Last I heard, you were in Rito. Then you just vanished into thin air. Uh, who's the new face? It's me. A friend? <laughs> a friend? What, uh, line of work is this young lady in, then? They're not a connection, if that's what you're thinking. Just a regular friend. That's me. <laughs> no vested interests here. I originally wanted to take her out for some downtime, but we've ended up mired in commission-related complications. Doesn't it kind of sound like he wanted to take us for a date? Am I just thinking too much? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. My mistake. So, what's the situation today, then? I only ever see you when you need something. Hmm. Well, I remember the last time we spoke, you were grumbling about a lack of iron ore. Have you made any progress on that front? Why? You got any supplier recommendations? You are a little out of the loop, my friend. Uh, we increased our bid price a while back. Soon after, we found plenty of sellers were pulling out all the stops to import stock from wherever they could get a hold of it. I heard some people were so eager to get in on the action that they even took out loans to get ahead of the competition. Oh, wow. uh, if you were hoping to enter the bidding now, I'm afraid you're a little late to the party. Sounds like now you have the opposite problem. More iron ore than you know what to do with. <sighs> That's Sounds right. like he has a plan. We're going to have to select a few sellers from the pool. There are certain candidates under consideration already, but we're still on the fence. I see. Well, would you mind if I gave you a couple of tips? As it happens, I'd noticed that shipments of iron ore had recently picked up. I looked into it a little and managed to get a sense of which sellers had the quality stock, which offered competitive prices, and so on. Huh, you don't say. All right then, here's the list of sellers. Give me your thoughts. These two are veterans of the business. Regular sales, quality stock, but their price is a little steep. I think you could talk them down, though. I'd say to around 80% of what they've quoted you. Hmm. Oh, okay. This one sprung up out of nowhere recently in Rito. Their approach is high volume, small profit margins. The quality's not too bad, but there's always a few duds, so you'd need to inspect the goods thoroughly upon receipt. This one grabbed a loan and leapt straight onto the bandwagon. In their haste, I fear they may have ended up with a mixed bag as far as quality is concerned. Given that their price isn't particularly competitive either, I wouldn't consider them if I were you. He really knows everything, doesn't he? <laughs> Wait, I know this name. Ah, uh, yes. I believe we're on the same page here. <laughs> to be completely upfront, this is really quite important to me, so your help in this regard would be greatly appreciated. Don't mention it. It's no skin off my back. There is something I hope you could do for me in return, though. Recently, several of our deliveries of iron ore have been getting stolen. Is there anything you can do to help? I think I know. <laughs> it's the worst on the road between Konda Village and Inazuma City. Something always seems to happen along that stretch. No problem. We'll be back before you know it. What is going on here? <laughs> I guess you have a few questions. I'll explain everything later. But it looks like we'll need to get to work pretty soon. All right. Let's just go with them, I guess. Let's see. Go to Kanda Village and help with the delivery. I'm not sure yet if I will cut the fighting out if there is fighting. Because it's really laggy and I haven't quite figured out why. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Don't get too close. I got you covered. Judgment. Huh? Don't blink. Head to the chase. You can't run. At least signatures aren't too bad. Oh, there's one more. 
Hironori. Hello. Ah, man, this hurts. Those monsters came out of nowhere. Thank you both for your help. Who are you? Hi there. Yasutake commissioned us to come and assist with the delivery. That's uh, right. Huh, wonderful. I was starting to think I'd never get this iron ore to its destination. Uh, so do I owe you anything for this? Nope. This is between us and Yasutake. That's right. He's the one you should be thanking, if anyone. I think I will just agree with Toma for the rest of the video. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, gosh. Delivering. Yay. Easy. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I think we can leave the goods here. Right. Many thanks. No problem. There were so many monsters, I didn't even see where they came from. It was a dicey situation. <laughs> The route should be safe from here on out. <sighs> we'll be heading off now. Hey. Sure thing. Again, my thanks to both of you. <laughs> All in a day's work. Come on, let's go. I still don't know what his plan is. <laughs> but he's probably thinking about a whole structure of helping people to get what he wants. That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good ending right from the start, right? We are back. Worry no more, good sir. Your goods have been safely delivered. Good to know. As for the issue you needed my help with, I have someone on the case. You can expect a resolution very shortly. Oh, nice. You always seem to be cleaning up for other people behind the scenes. It must keep you pretty busy. Seems to eat up all your personal time, too. Speaking of, uh, I'm going to need your help again in a few days' time. There's a meeting coming up, and several trade associations will be fighting tooth and nail over the chance to make a profit. You'll have to mediate on this one. He really cannot catch a break. <laughs> Wait, isn't he on vacation? Didn't he just say that? Ah, that rings the start? a bell. Not a problem. I'll be there. Oh, uh, one other thing. I heard Sakai gave our guy a loan a while back. Just thought you might be interested to know. Our guy? Huh, is that so? It sounds like I should go talk to him then. Uh, thanks again for all your help. Much obliged. Think nothing of it. Goodbye for now. I'll see you in a few days' time. The person says goodbye okay. and peace. This problem is halfway solved. So, who was that? What were you talking about? That was the quartermaster of the Tenryo Commission. He's in charge of all of their procurement and also responsible for keeping their weapon supplies intact. Okay. Making weapons involves purchasing raw materials, so he's the key decision maker in all the related trade in iron ore. Mm -hmm. The iron ore trade is actually what I was discussing with him just now. But what does that have to do with ceremonial affairs? On the surface, not a whole lot, I'll admit. But you'll see very shortly. I am sure. <laughs> but before that, time to go visit another old friend of mine. All right. Let's go to another old friend. Akai. Um, yeah, I can work there, I think. So... If this is what Thomas' vacations are always like, I feel really sorry for him. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't really seem to mind the hard work. But every once in a while, he should definitely catch a break, right? <laughs> Hello. Ah, Toma, you too? You too? Yasutake sent someone over already, but I'm telling you, Toma, I just don't know if it's feasible. <laughs> really? Why? Is there a problem? You betcha! The guy owes me Mora, for sure, but there's a long repayment period on that loan. If I go hounding him for Mora now, that makes me the bad guy. <laughs> oh, alright. But as I recall, the only reason he was entitled to such a long period was because at the outset, he had a business relationship with the Yashiro Commission. Oh? So, if we sever ties with him, surely he'd have to pay you back right away. Oh, the loopholes. Oh my, he's really smart. 
And I mean, I know who they're talking about, but I totally forgot his name already. <laughs> um, but it seems really In smart. Principle, that's how it works. But I'd still be the one who has to take all the flack. I'm just a small timer, you know. People like me need stability and security, not to go rocking the boat. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on now, let's work something out. Weren't you after some Noctiluctus Jade last time we spoke? We can put our heads together and get a hold of some for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Noctiluctus Jade would be good for starters, but... But? For starters, I'd say that's plenty for now. You don't want to go biting off more than you can chew, right? Right. <laughs> you... <sighs> okay, fine. Even he knows he's right. If you bring me some Noctiluctus Jade, I'll get my hands dirty for you. <laughs> he's acting as if we want him to kill someone. He just... He... As I understood it, he should just ask for the loan. I don't know, to All right. get well, it back sooner, right? Alright. Report back. Oh, right. <laughs> I already have it. <laughs> okay. Is this enough? Plenty. Leave the rest to me. I promise you'll be satisfied customers. That's what I owe. You know, Toma, you haven't changed one bit. Same mindset, same style of working. That's good, right? I sure hope the two of us never get into a conflict. <laughs> Fingers crossed our cooperation will stay happy and healthy for a long time to come. Right? Don't you worry. Unless you've got plans to cause trouble for the Yashiro Commission, the future looks bright for all our future dealings. He really only cares about the Yashiro Commission, right? And never... He never cares about his own benefits. I think that's what makes him even more empathetic for everyone. <laughs> if that is the right word, I'm sorry. I'm usually at a loss for words. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Okay. I'll be seeing you folks. Can we really trust this guy? No, I think we can. It felt like there was a subtext to your whole conversation. I mean, that's the part about the loan, right? <laughs> Don't worry. People whose attention is always focused on other people's weaknesses tend to expose their own weaknesses pretty easily. Hmm. That's actually pretty true, I think. Uh, let's head back to the Yashiro Commission headquarters. Alrighty. We shall do just that. Oh my. It's Where raining. Rain come from? Yeah. Are you gonna be okay? Um here, I'll lend you my coat. Your jacket is barely enough to cover yourself up, my boy. <laughs> you don't want to get <sighs> What do we do now? We could try uh, asking him nicely. Maybe he'd have a change of heart. <laughs> Sure, sure. I highly doubt that would work. <laughs> then again, since we don't have any other options, we might as well give it a try. But the samurai spirit... What about the samurai spirit? <laughs> we serve the head of the clan. If the clan is in trouble, we must bear whatever humiliation comes our way to resolve the situation. This too is the samurai spirit. I think he's right, but he's sounding really dramatic. <laughs> is is anyone there? Oh my gosh. I I already said it plenty of times, but his voice acting. <laughs> huh? What's he doing here? <sighs> he must be here to make fun of us. No no no, that that part is me. I'm going to make fun of you. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Brace yourself. <laughs> Brace yourself for the humiliation. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> well, all right. I apologize. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I apologize. Forgive me. I'll sell to you at the original price. No, what am I saying? Make that half price. <laughs> hmm. Huh. How did that happen now, huh? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Toma? Toma, are you here? I was completely in the wrong. However much you need, I'll sell it to you. I've got a warehouse full of stock, too, if you need more. Please, you'll have everything you could need. Hmm, he's really cooperative right now. <laughs> 
hands without any duds this time, I assume? None! None whatsoever! I'll stake my whole reputation on it! No fakes, no defects! I give you my word! Please! This is my whole livelihood! Don't cut me off! Oh my gosh. I love him. Wow. <laughs> Uh, since you've promised not to sneak in any fakes this time around, go ahead with the shipment. Once we've inspected the goods, and if all's in order, I'm sure whatever problems you're presently facing will quickly disappear. Okay! I'll deliver the goods right away! Right away, I promise! Good, good, good. You see what I mean? Getting things settled as soon as possible is in everyone's best interest. <laughs> All right, with that taken care of, let's get out of here. Yeah, please, it's it's thundering. Why was he apologizing to Toma? W why? What's going on here? Hey, Toma. <laughs> uh, that's strange. Where'd he go? He was right here a second ago. He's feet. We find Toma in the corridor sweeping. Okay. Really? The floors are done. Oh boy, I thought you were... I thought you were on vacation. Next, I need to dust down the railings. Do you not want to take a little break? <laughs> I only took one day off, but look how much dust has gathered. Oh. Uh, this is what I mean when I say cleaning is a daily chore. Just now... You remember what he said, don't you? His goods could go unsold and it wouldn't bother him. Mm -hmm. So, the solution in this case was to cut off his main line of business and make him really feel the heat. <laughs> True, even though that sounds really mean, but it worked very, very well. <laughs> the Yashiro Commission doesn't have the authority to meddle in the business world, but as it happened, I knew a few of his major customers, so I sorted it out privately. When he realized he couldn't shift his product, had no source of revenue, and wouldn't be able to pay off his loan, he suddenly felt the pressure. Then, I just had to make sure he caught wind of what the cause of his problems was, so he'd seek us out to make an apology. Sounds like you gave him the full Toma treatment. <laughs> it's no big deal. I've dealt with plenty of situations like this in the past. Alright. I know you'd like people to look up to me more, but it doesn't bother me all that much. I mean, you're incredibly smart, and you do so much for the Yashiro Commission, or... I mean, I would say just everyone, but you only do it if it's good for the Yashiro Commission, so I don't know. But he is... such a good boy. <laughs> I'm just the housekeeper of the Kamisato clan. You're not just... Reputation <laughs> isn't all that important to me. On the contrary, having too good of a reputation can be restricted. Hmm. I see. I haven't thought of it like this before. Interesting. You feel indignant for my sake when you hear people spreading gossip about me, don't you? That says that in your mind, I'm not the kind of person they say I am. That's right. For me, that's enough. Aww. All I need is for the people I'm close with to know the real me. Aww. <laughs> no, but that that should be how it should be. I mean... Everyone should just care about the close and real friends and just people you're close with. What others are, are, are saying, it, it really shouldn't matter at all. <laughs> Thanks for your help in averting a potential crisis for the Ashiro Commission. I owe you one. I'll have to entertain you again sometime. Even though that's not always as easily done as said, of course. But you don't owe me, Toma. I have to entertain you again sometime. We could just hang out, you know? I mean, ah. have a hot pot. <laughs> Plus, I didn't get very far with entertaining you this time around, so I guess I owe the both of you. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Toma. Gosh, he is so sweet. <laughs> and sweeping. <laughs> That's cute. Lamine really is looking like, uh, Toma? Excuse me, but why are you sweeping there right now? <laughs> the housekeeper's other side. Looks like being a housekeeper is the more relaxing and interesting job after all. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, that's it for the first ending of Thomas' Hangout event. I'm thinking about doing the other endings as well. 
but please let me know what you think and if you thought hanging out with Toma was pretty fun even though it was basically just business. Well, I explain a lot recently. Only 10 more are left. <laughs> Still, 10 more is better than no Mora. It's just like Toma says. <laughs> so, I hope to see you next time. Bye.